Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Robin's Nest Diaries, and uh, Mama is in her nest again. So I am super hopeful about that. You can see again, she's displaying some pretty different behavior from the first couple of times we saw her in her nest. Uh, she's definitely settled down quite a bit more, and uh, we can't see that much from out right here, but uh, I can't tell if she has any eggs or babies in there, uh, but she certainly does seem like, well she wouldn't have babies yet, but she certainly does seem like she is trying to incubate eggs. Now, I did not I did see her gone from the nest this morning. Um, it is about, oh what time is it? Uh, about 12.30 right now. <laughs> and I did see that she was gone earlier, so I don't know if she was out foraging or if she's just had, uh, maybe not laid eggs, thought she was going to and then not actually had any yet. Or if she had a couple that weren't good eggs that uh, maybe did not have um, uh, the potential to hatch. Uh, but she is certainly seeming like she is trying to incubate something. She uh, was in the nest last night, as you guys saw in the previous vlog that I put up. And um, so she has been hanging around out here. So I do, <laughs> I do want to uh, give you a, a little bit of... Um, uh, perhaps, perhaps a little bit of a, just a heads up, I've been researching Robins quite a bit. I'm putting together a fact sheet, too, so I will hopefully have that up for you guys soon. Uh, but they do say that only 40% of Robin nests end up producing viable eggs or offspring. So, there is always the chance that, um, uh, that Mama and Papa will not be able to have any eggs that hatch or any offspring uh, that make it to adulthood. It's it's a very, very tough world out there for them. And it's uh, it's not a guarantee that they're going to have eggs or babies that survive. So right. we may see some uh, natural, uh, natural consequences of nature, natural events of nature. And uh, we may witness predation. Predation, whatever the word is. <laughs> I did this yesterday. <laughs> Um, but we may see some of that, and it's an unfortunate but necessary part of life. And, um, if that does happen, I mean, it's, it's just an example of how nature is sometimes. So I'm hoping it won't. I'm hoping we will get to see, um, uh, eggs and babies that might have a chance of making it to adulthood, but I just want to prepare you for the possibility that we may not. Uh, that said, it definitely does seem like Mama is, uh, uh, definitely doing something different in that nest <laughs> than she has been doing prior to yesterday. Uh, definitely does seem like she is at least trying to incubate an egg. Uh, I don't know if the egg will be uh, viable or not. We'll have to see. Um, so, uh, that's basically what's been going on with them. I also do want to talk a little bit while we're watching Mama. Uh, just give you guys a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a heads up on what's going on. Um, so... This morning, my cat Shadow was uh, throwing up blood, and that's never a good thing. <laughs> so we brought her to the vet, and uh, thankfully they say it doesn't look super serious. It could be a lot worse, um, but she is staying at the vet right now. She'll be there until later this afternoon, and uh, um, they're, they're just going to be trying to help her get rehydrated, giving her some fluids, and uh, keeping an eye on her. And uh, they're going to give her an enema, <laughs> which is basically... Um, basically a treatment to help constipation. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's what's going on with my cat. So we're hoping she'll be okay. Hopefully it doesn't seem as serious as it could be. But, um, nevertheless, if, if you guys would keep her in your thoughts and prayers, I would really appreciate it. So, uh, thank you guys for that. What are you doing, Mama? Uh, but yeah, so Shadow is actually at the bed right now, so, um, uh, I'm hoping nothing serious or dramatic will happen. I'm hoping I'll still be able to do videos and that she'll be able to come back uh, pretty uh, pr later this afternoon, but that it'll all go smoothly. Uh, but there's always the possibility that it won't, so uh, just <laughs> just keep that in mind. I'm hoping everything goes okay, uh, but uh, please do remember her in your thoughts and prayers. So I don't actually know what Mama is doing right now. Oh! Oh my! Um, so, uh, Mama just stood up a little bit here, and I think I have to go back and look at that again. So we talked a little bit yesterday, and my camera is dying. I may have to uh, re restart a little bit later. Uh, it may cut me off, so I apologize if that happens. Um, but uh, when she stood up, you could see there was a 
it looked like she had a, a patch, perhaps, uh, perhaps a, you could see the brood patch a little. I'm not sure entirely what we saw. I'll have to look at it on my computer. It's not the easiest to see on um, my computer screen, but if that was in fact the brood patch that we saw, I'll try to highlight it. Now, we talked about brood patches a little bit last night and I didn't go into detail. So basically, what a brood patch is, um, it's when, for certain birds, most birds, I think, but not all, uh, some birds actually use their feet for this purpose. <laughs> um, well, thank you. Uh, my mom just brought me some new batteries so <laughs> we can get up and running again pretty quickly here. Um, but uh, a lot of birds will also develop a bald patch on their, um, kind of on their chest, stomach area. And what this bald patch is, some birds just develop it naturally and shed the feathers just as a natural part of what goes on. Some birds, like ducks and geese, will actually pluck the feathers out to line their nests. Uh, but the, in any case, the purpose of this bald patch uh, is that it is an area of skin that has a lot of blood vessels exposed to the surface. Now, these blood vessels exposed to the surface of the skin, or they're not on the surface of the skin, but they're very near it, um, so it's not like the bird is going to be bleeding constantly or anything, but uh, this blood vessels are very close to the skin. And so what that enables them to do is to actually generate enough heat to be able to incubate the eggs so that the eggs stay warm and don't freeze to death. Uh, that is actually how birds are able to incubate their eggs. Now, like I said, some birds will use their feet. Not all birds have a, um, a brood patch, but robins do, and specifically female robins like Mama here. So, um... Uh, the male robin actually is incapable of incubating the eggs because he, male robins will never develop a brood patch. It's just not the way they do things. It, it just isn't, um, it's not something that happens with them. I, I don't know exactly the logistics of that. Uh, I don't always know how things work in nature, but it's something we know uh, that it just doesn't happen. The males don't get a brood patch. So uh, I think what we saw a little bit back there, I'll try to highlight it and I'll let you guys know if it actually is a brood patch. Maybe I'll show you guys a picture of a brood patch. <laughs> um, but uh, it did look like the brood patch in the pictures I've seen of it, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll have to go back and review the footage, as I said. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that is actually how Mama would be able to incubate her eggs right here. I don't know if she has more than one uh, or if she has any at all, or if any of them are uh, potentially uh, viable eggs that could produce offspring. Not all eggs are. Uh, that is actually the reason why we are able to eat eggs. The eggs we eat at the store are eggs that would never hatch, that would never develop a chick. So don't worry. <laughs> if you're buying eggs at the store, you're not eating baby chicks. Uh, the eggs we buy from chickens at the store and I think if you can get any other type of egg at the store, it would probably be the same situation, are eggs that would never be able to actually produce uh, a, a baby from them. It, they're, they're infertile. And uh, it's like a niche. <laughs> We've been talking about that some in niche, so if you watch some of those episodes, we talk a little bit about, uh, about that. Um, but it basically, what it is, is they could never produce, and uh, they could never produce offspring. Now, we don't eat robin eggs. <laughs> it sounds a little bit weird. They're songbirds. We wouldn't eat robin eggs. Um, we don't eat small bird eggs. We don't farm any most poultry except for... We don't farm any, most birds except for poultry. Uh, but the same principle holds true. Not every robin egg is going to be able to actually produce babies. There are some that just never will. And uh, it's possible that that has gone on here some because I did see between the morning vlog yesterday and the night vlog that I did yesterday, um, I did see that Mama was off her nest for a substantial period of time. And they do say that uh, robins usually can tell if an egg is not going to be viable and sometimes they will even push it out of the nest if it's not going to be able to actually produce a baby. So that's sometimes why if you see a bird egg on the ground, Sometimes it's an egg that would never actually be able to produce a baby. Um, 
and a lot of the time the, the robins will know that and may even push the egg out of the nest to make room for eggs that are viable. So it's possible that happened because she did seem like she was off the nest for quite a lengthy period last afternoon and usually if a robin is incubating eggs, uh, she will stay on the nest for about 50 minutes out of every hour. So she's only away from the nest for 10 minutes. Well, she was definitely gone for way more than 10 minutes. And um, the, it's it's one of those things where she may not have had any... Um, no, my, I, think my, I think my memory card may have full, uh, filled up first. I don't know. The recording coming off. We'll see if it'll let me finish. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, sometimes... Um, the eggs just are not ones that can actually uh, produce offspring. I think it just cuts me off at 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I think we'll be okay. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but yeah, so it's one of those things where not every egg is going to be viable, and if it's not, sometimes they will uh, just, sometimes they'll leave them alone. So yeah, I think we maybe are seeing a brood patch because there is a distinctive change in the feathers there. I'm going to try and get a closer look at it, uh, but it definitely does seem like we may be seeing a bit of the brood patch there. <laughs> Um, basically, like I said, it's an area where the feathers are all gone. So, um, uh, yeah, but that's some, just some of the things I've been learning about robins recently. Yeah, you can see there, there's an area where there's less feathers, it looks like. And uh, she definitely does seem to be reaching down there when she does, um, uh, when she does stand up. I believe robins have to turn the eggs. I'm compiling a lot of this in the fact sheet, so don't worry if, uh, if it's a lot to take in just some videos or if I'm not always the best at explaining it. I don't have a fact sheet here as reference at the moment, but I will hopefully have that in the future. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be putting that up on my Google Docs for you to see as well. So once I have that uh, more more organized, I will be putting that up for you guys. Uh, so for now, I think we're going to probably leave Mama B and uh, let, her keep <laughs> let her keep incubating her eggs. Uh, the good news is, I did go out in the yard today, we, we've been using our other door to get out there, so we're not walking straight out onto this patio. Um, but the, the good news in that is that she didn't seem excessively perturbed. I was out there, my dog was out there, we did keep our distance, and um, I at least was making a concerted effort to stay away. I think the dog was running around right underneath her and she didn't seem too bothered. Uh, but. I, it does seem like she wasn't too worried about us. Now, I don't know what ha would happen if I was closer. I don't really want to find out because I don't want to risk scaring her, especially in these first few days where she seems to be uh, starting to incubate eggs. Because uh, they say that can be a really bad time, and if you scare them off, they may not come back. <laughs> so we do want to be very, very careful and especially uh, let her get a little more used to us being inside the house before we would even try to contemplate going out there, uh, while she, especially while she's on the nest. But uh, I do at some point want to see if we can actually know if she has any eggs in the nest. And uh, I may try and do that. I probably won't try to film it because I think that would be quite a, <laughs> uh, quite a challenge to first of all see into the nest and second of all to bring the camera while doing it, <laughs> we'd see, because I I don't necessarily, I, I really don't want to disturb her, but if she's off her nest, I may try to uh, get a ladder and pop up there and just see if there are any eggs. Uh, now I don't, I don't really want, I want to be very careful about how I do this because I really don't want to risk scaring her off, but it would be good to know exactly if we are seeing any eggs in there. Uh, but the thing is, too, robins can be territorial, and they can be very protective of their nests. So I don't particularly want to incur the wrath of Mama and Papa either. So for these first few days, I think I'm going to uh, leave them pretty much be. I, I don't know if you can hear my dog in the background. She, she likes to drop her ball into the kitchen and uh, try and play with us. <laughs> uh, so that, that's what she's doing back here. Hi, Sierra. Um, but uh, if time goes on and they seem like they're fairly comfortable with our presence and accepting of us, then I may try to get up there and see what we exactly have going on in the nest. <laughs> um, so another thing we, we touched on that I wasn't sure about last time is how long it actually takes for, um, how long it actually takes for a, uh, uh, for robin eggs to hatch and for robin chicks to grow up. And the answer is about two weeks for each. So it takes about 12 to 14 days for robin eggs to hatch from the time they're laid. So we won't be looking at babies for at least another couple of weeks. <laughs> um, 
and, and that is if there are any viable eggs in the nest right now. Um, we won't be looking at uh, any hatchlings until then, and we won't be looking at any uh, potential fledglings until about uh, a week or so after that. What are you doing, Mama? <laughs> uh, she's reaching down in the nest. I'm not sure exactly why, but she may be... I think the Rob... I think Robins have to turn their eggs. Um, but she... Uh, I, th I think I read that somewhere. I gotta, I'll go clarify that point. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure I did read that at some point. Uh, but uh, it's another two weeks for the hatchlings to grow up into fledglings, which is basically when they start learning to fly on their own, they're getting the feathers, etc. So we're looking at at least a month until uh, the potential babies are, are starting to grow up. So the oftentimes what happens then is the fledglings will actually go and hang out w with the dads. So we'd be seeing fledglings if we have any survive. Uh, that would be going to hang out with Papa probably. Well, Mama may have another, uh, I believe it's a clutch of eggs and a brood of chicks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the proper terminology. So uh, Mama may nest again while Papa is helping raise the other babies. So uh, that's what, if the nest is successful, we might be looking at there. Uh, if it's not successful, I don't know what we'd be seeing. Uh, we may we may not see any uh, any eggs or chicks in this nest or any viable ones, and I certainly hope we will. But there's always that possibility. Uh, so anyway, I, this is getting to be a little bit of a longer vlog, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I probably won't do a night vlog tonight. I just want to show you guys that she is sitting on the nest at night. Uh, but she started squinting at me angrily because I was shining a flashlight in her face, and I'm sure you guys wouldn't appreciate that much either. So I'm, I'm going to try to avoid disturbing her uh, if I can, and uh, this is much less intrusive. So we probably won't have any more night vlogs uh, from this point on unless something super dramatic happens and I really want to show you guys. Um, but I, I just wanted you guys to know that she is in fact sitting on the nest at night, and... Um, as well as seemingly more full-time in the day, too. So I'm going to wrap this up here. We'll check in with Mama later, probably tomorrow morning. I will keep you guys posted about Shadow and uh, let you know how that go how that all goes. I'm hoping it'll go pretty well, uh, hoping no complications arise, um, and that she'll be able to come home. So if, if you could <laughs> remember her and pray for her, that I would really appreciate that. So thank you. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys next time, and until then, this is Jay, over and out.